purpose of my own project was to examine the possibilities of making new discoveries and to extend the research to branches of medicine that had not yet been included. The research was to focus on the remains of two pharaohs. Mernpeta, research in the field of forensic medicine, was to prove of great value in determining the cause of his death, and Ramses II, thought by many biblical scholars to have been the pharaoh of the Exodus. It seemed to me that the experts' arguments were weak in terms of factual evidence, and that precise data on the condition of the pharaohs at the end of their lives could cast light on the matter, providing indisputable evidence. Our earlier studies had already shown that the mummy of Ramses II, and likewise other pharaoh's mummies, had suffered serious damage before the bodies of numerous kings were discovered in the necropolis at Thebes nearly a century ago. In the case of Ramses II, the damage was twofold. First, structural, the extent of which had already been determined by x-rays, and secondly, biological, the causes of which had already been discovered as well. I discussed these problems several times during my talks with President Sadat and those around him. On January 23, 1976, President Sadat announced his decision to entrust the mummy of Ramses II to France. He asked me personally to announce the measures that needed to be taken to rescue the other deteriorating mummies after Ramses' stay in Paris.